you've got a YouTube, you'll probably find a, a message similar to this in blue at the top of your uh, dashboard of your channel. So uh, what it means is really essentially is that they've now got this new graphic, which you'll notice is very, very similar to uh, Facebook and Google Plus and uh, another graphic that overlays it, which is your thumbnail picture. Um, now that actually causes a bit of a problem because the instructions that uh, YouTube give you and also uh, a template they give you can be a bit confusing because uh, although your graphic might look fine in this position, once you uh, start to uh, fold up the to a more narrow size, what you'll find is that the half your graphic, and if you're very careful, half your graphic will disappear under this thumbnail. So that's something you want to avoid. So uh, we created a, a new graphic for you, and it's uh, actually slightly more restricted. So it, um, it, what it means is you'll have less less problems, I think. So we'll go ahead now. So I've got my thumbnail here already, so that part's done for me. We'll now click on Add Channel Art, and I'm going to select a photo from my computer. And this, as you can see, it needs to be quite a large graphic, 2120 by 1192. And here we are. Now this um, is how it's going to look. This is why you have such a massive gra graphic size, because this is to fit widescreen televisions. So um, on the mobile, you can see, you're just simply going to get this, this area here. And on desktops, this is where the problem is going to arise, because if you have it on a widescreen desktop as I showed you earlier you might uh, find that's fine but when um, a lot of people of course don't have widescreen laptops or screen jet desktops with widescreen so um, that might be a bit of a problem because the whole thing folds up and you'll find that half of your title has disappeared behind the thumbnail that's permanently there and of course they make no reference to that on their particular graphic so what we'll do now is we'll select that yeah that's pretty good actually um, but of course the problem is that this is in widescreen now if I then just try to shrink this down a little bit and see what yeah, actually lucky it's just about it's just about does it isn't it yeah that should be okay go any small so yeah so that's really what I would call an acid test for it so uh, if you use my graphic which I will show you then you should be uh, good to go um, so that's really quite impressive that I'm quite pleased with that because I know a lot of people have had problems with this and um, getting it to right first time is uh, is uh, quite lucky let's just view this as the public make sure there's no nasties if the public see it yep that's not bad and you can see now the entire channel this is how it lays out and uh, there's all your various videos particularly the ones that uh, with the most views um, that one 182,000 it's been there for five years yeah so uh, interesting isn't it how time flies when you're enjoying yourself anyway that's essentially how the how the channel works uh, looks quite smart really because you basically got red white and blue there it was quite good so I'm quite pleased with that really so what I'll do now is I'll just show you the template which will um, give you some idea of how to you know the area you're restricted to here for putting in your um, text so that it doesn't uh, get crunched up once somebody's viewing it vision or a, uh, a narrow wit laptop so I'll just switch to uh, the graphic now so now you can see this is the graphic I've uh, created to help you so what you want there essentially is you want a 600 pixel margin there because that's where the your thumbnail graphics gonna go there if you just go to these three measurements here that's 500 pixels down before you start your your titling and then don't let it go below about 720 pixels down the bottom there so that gives you 220 pixels to play with in that area there and make sure that it's 600 pixels from the left hand side and of course because you obviously want it centered it'll again be 600 pixels from that side 
So I think that's all you really need to know. So uh, feel free to use that. You'll also get that in the in the printout if you're a full member of the Advantage Unfair Advantage Club. And you, as you know, you get a printout of every how-to video. So uh, you'll find that the printout there, you can just uh, put that into your printer, run it off, and then use it as a guide when you're creating your own graphic. So uh, that's about it, really. So um, let's go back to YouTube as channel. And that's how it's going to look. So that's uh, quite quite attractive. I'd better get on now and um, upload some more videos. <laughs>